Swords are a big deal in One Piece. Such a big deal that there's an official world's strongest swordsman floating around on the sea. And the second member of the crew that we meet, it's his goal to become the world's strongest swordsman. I'm just warning y'all in advance, this video will contain slight manga spoilers for Gandhi Gorose, but I'll do my best to keep it light. In the recent chapter, Gandhi Gorose sends the presence of Zoro's Kitetsu blade and the resulting clash put into question the said future of that blade. See, Sandai Kitetsu is the third blade in a line of Kitetsu blades. Sandai was the sword that Zoro gained back in Logue Town and they told him that that sword was cursed because it killed every swordsman who wielded. Zoro said bet and then proceeded to bitch out the curse and then left with Sandai for free and after getting the sword he even managed to manifest one of his most powerful attacks, Ashura. Wano is where we met the second Kitetsu blade, Nidai Kitetsu. This was the sword that Luffy was just waving around. It's currently in the possession of Kozuki Sukiyaki, who will be important later. So if Zoro is sensing the presence of another Kitetsu blade, help me out here guys. If there are three blades, Zoro has one, the old man has the other one, then the third one, yes, Gandhi Gorose possesses the original Kitetsu blade. No wonder Oda has been glazing bro in the manga. He is cold as hell bruh. He possesses the Shodai Kitetsu which is one of the 12 supreme grade blades. Other supreme grade blades that we've seen in the series have literally only been wielded by the strongest in the world. Such as Yuru by Dracula Mihawk, the strongest swordsman in the world. And don't kill me if I butcher this. Murokogiri. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Say that, yeah. And Ace by Roger and Whitebeard. And like, come on. Like, we know who these guys are. That's the level of power that Gandhi Gorose's sword has. And I know what everyone's thinking. Oh, Zoro's about to beat him and take the sword. Well, along with the fact that this is a massive blade and I don't see how Zoro is going to be like swinging this around. Although he uses Enma and Odin was also massive. So I don't know, animation physics aside. I don't think Zoro is going to take this sword from Gandhi Gorose. I think he will beat him, destroying it, turning Kitetsu or all his other swords into a black blade. See, we don't actually know who created Shodai Kitetsu given the fact that it's in possession of the Gorose and he has most likely been alive for like centuries we could say that the sword dates back to the void century that's where nidai and sandai now come in nidai is part of the 21 great great blades which is the grade directly below supreme grade in the ranking it was made by a distant ancestor of the shimotsuki family kotetsu and was initially meant to be a copy of the original kotetsu blade and in wano zoro learned that his blade the sandai kotetsu was a copy of that blade had been made by momo's grandfather made in the image of the nidai kotetsu all right i hope you guys are following me there so nidai is a copy of shodai and sandai is a copy of nidai right but both blades remain out of people's grasp because, yeah, they were said to be cursed. But blades aren't cursed. It's just as we learn with Enma. A sword is an inanimate object. It's created for a purpose, to cut. If you don't wield such a dangerous weapon correctly, it will kill you. That's what was happening to the former wielders of Sandai. They kept dying because they couldn't wield the sword to its full ability. That's the same thing we saw with Enma. And this is where I believe the craftsmanship of the sword comes into play. Enma is also one of the 21 great great blades. And we see it legit force the wielder to use an extreme amount of haki. Or at least the same amount of haki as the previous user which is why Enma was almost killing Zoro because the way he was wielding it wasn't to the same extent that Odin had done before. I mean, Odin used this in a fight against Kaido. And the reason for this lies in what Miyok said and why I think Zoro will not be getting Shodai is because a black blade is the pinnacle of swordsmanship and any blade can become a black blade. Craftsmanship affects the initial power of the black blade of course, but past that it's up to the wielder of the blade to use that weapon to do the job it was designed for. To cut and there's nothing a black blade can cut which is precisely why defeating gandhi gorose is what will give zoro the ability to face mihawk and may even result in one if not all of his blades becoming black blades and having sandai kitetsu overpower the shodai is just kind of poetic in my opinion because this i believe is the difference in sword skill and just raw power shanks is extremely powerful and with his blade there's nothing he can destroy mihawk however can cut anything it's like how gandhi gorose swung and cut the top of the island off clean just a swing of his black blade mihawk cut the top of a tsunami off that towered over marine fort which is the difference in sword skill and just raw power with a blade. Miok is the superior swordsman over Shanks due to his precision and capabilities using a blade to cut things. And Zoro using an inferior version of Kitatsu will have to hone his skill with this sword and use it to cut the Gorose. The only way for him to do so will be to bring his blades to the absolute pinnacle of swordsmanship, creating black blades. 
This will be the feed that will put him in the same class as Miyok and I believe it's going to be the final feed before they face off. I don't think he's going to defeat him here in Egghead but later on in the story probably near the final arc they're going to face off and then Zoro's going to you know attain the Black Blades and finally like destroy him and then after all that drama happens we'll get the face off with Miyok. But anyway guys let me know what y'all think about this video in the comments and like and subscribe if you like this content. I'm definitely going to have another video coming out in a couple of days about the next one piece chapter the latest one because it should be dropping on thursday 